Hey guys, so Miss Hollywood here, and I just came back from the 20th anniversary Wisconsin Death Trip tour from Static X, and oh boy, there was a lot to take in. Okay, so before going to the show, I was very nervous about going because I had last seen Wayne at the memorial, the funeral show, um, where Kara had brought his beard as well as Wayne in the urn. And that was the last time I got to see Wayne. And I was a complete mess in the front row. Um, just a mess. Yeah, if you were there, then you know that I don't think the tears stopped at all. And being back, I was kind of scared that that was going to happen again. And I didn't want to just be a, a mess anymore. Wayne wouldn't want that. Tara wouldn't want that. Static doesn't want that. They want to see all their fans happy because this is for good reasons. That the bands got back together to celebrate the life of Wayne as well as 20th anniversary of Wisconsin Death Trip. And to keep us fans happy by bringing us back the music that we love. And, you know, it's just crazy because it's like, I don't know, I looked around the room and everybody, it was like we time warped back 20 years and it was all the same people. I swear, I saw, I could see people that were that would walk by me, and I'm like, I've seen this guy before. I've seen him before, and I'm sure they were doing the same thing to me. Oh, this girl again! Like 20 years later, you still around? And it's really cool because uh, it did sell out, and so far every show is sold out. And I know there's a lot of controversy about it by people going, you know, wigging out about it because, you know, um, Zero, you know, was a mysterious person that nobody knows, but, you know, he's pretty dope, I'm just saying, so, he's somebody nobody knows, and he just comes out, and he sounds like Wayne, and I wanted to see if he was going to do justice towards Wayne's voice, or, like, was he bringing his own flavor to it, and I have to say, like, if you close your eyes, it sounded like Wayne was up there, he is channeling Wayne, he may be Wayne, who knows, like, I don't know. It was so cool. I just really loved it. Um, just seeing the whole band back together again was amazing. And I can still remember, I, I was very young, <laughs> and I remember going to the shows, and especially during the Wisconsin Death Trip, and that was one of the very first albums that I fell in love with. And it had me sold, I want to say from Napster, LimeWire, I mean, we're going back, and then um, I started following them on MySpace, and gosh, man, like, I just remember listening to, um, I was stupid over and over and over, and I was dating a guy, I was with stupid, <laughs> so, you know, I, I listened to Wayne, he was a loser, and I gotta, you know, push it and get it, get it away from me, <laughs> so, um, it's really really cool to hear all these songs again and it just takes you back to all those good memories and all the show memories you know just overall this the boys they still look good you know and they did the shots I was really curious to know because no one's really mentioned that like that they do the little shot bit and they used to do that like throughout the whole show and I remember you know being very young and receiving shots and it was so much fun and um you know, just it just goes to show you like how genius that album was. That like every song was a hit. And gosh, okay, well let's start back with the lineup. So we first started off with Raven Black, which holy crap! If you haven't seen Raven Black yet, um, this is one you don't want to miss. And she goes on early, so three songs I believe is what they played today. So if you go catch them, make sure you catch them and get there early because they are worth it. And I was really shocked when I got, when I walked inside there, I got there early and this place was already packed to the nines, to the nine already. So I know that they bring their own crowd. They have their own huge, massive fans. And that was incredible to watch a, the singer Hula Hoop, Raven Hula Hoop on stage. <laughs> Yeah, that was amazing. I don't know. That was just so mind-blowing that, like, I've never seen anybody do that before. And the rest of the boys, they're just completely talented as well. I just, they were just so much fun to watch. 
their videos online are amazing too. And is this something that you guys should go check out if you haven't watched it yet? Um, then Wednesday 13 came out and of course, like, <laughs> Wednesday 13 filled the void when I was looking for a new band um, to kind of get me through the passing of Wayne Static. I really didn't know what band that could even remotely replace them. But in order to fill the void, I had to find a band that I could follow now that just as much as I loved Wayne Static, I needed to find a new band um, to fall in love with. And now with Wednesday 13, so it was really cool to see that weird synchronicity that like the band that I randomly chose ended up later on playing this tour. Coincidence? Maybe. Um, but yeah, I thought that was so cool. It just kind of put that little connection in my mind that like this was supposed to happen. This was the band that I'm going to follow now. So be it every Wednesday 13 show because I freaking love them. And if you haven't listened to them, listen to them Wednesday 13. Brilliant. They sing about a lot of the Halloween horror stuff, you know, movies and stuff like that. Um, but they're beautifully, geniusly written, which reminds me of Wayne and how his style of writing geniuses, geniuses, and they're very catchy tunes. And they're all hotties. Hello. Uh, <laughs> what else? Um, then we had, uh, who else? Oh, Dope. Dope came out. Uh, Dope was one of the ones that first got me started into the whole, like, juggalo scene with the whole dab mother you know so um i was so happy to hear that kind of went full circle they hadn't played that in a couple of stops before us so i was really happy that they played that at our show tonight because that was just crazy that i really wanted to see them play that song and they did so that made me happy um what else um the devil driver came out that got rowdy. I swear, like, the fans were so tired by the time Static X came out because they spend all their energy moshing in the mosh pit. Um, I mean, I just, at one point, just saw bodies just flying. Just like it was, like, a cartoon show. Like, bodies were just flying everywhere. And I was just like, oh, that's gonna hurt. I saw one kid fly over. He had no shoes on, and he just, boom, hit the, hit the guardrail. Just, um, some kids got on stage, and, man, it was great. It was just so great because... You know, they were calling for security, the band's calling for security, and, I mean, it was just got chaotic there for a second, but man, the devil driver, and it was so cool to see Ashes, because Ashes, if some of you didn't know, was in Static X, as well as the Wayne Static band, and, you know, he was crucial, he's crucial to Static X history, and a lot of people just kind of sat there, and they were like, hmm, this guy, hmm, devil driver, hmm, I'm like, hello, people, that's Ashes, hello. Also, side note, Juggalos, he was in Twisted. Yo, when Twisted did do their live show. Um, rest in peace, Ben Graves. And, yeah, I mean, that was, like, super cool. Part of the history of Static X as well. So it was really nice to see him on tour with Devil Driver. Um... You know, and then, of course, you know, seeing Static X, like, I just didn't know what to expect. I thought uh, I wasn't going to like it. But you know what? I really loved it, and I really wish I could go see them tomorrow, but the tickets are sold out, and I know that they're going to be, like, over $1,000, like today was, just for the little small observatory. It was, like, over $1,000 for a ticket. So I just didn't want to do that. Uh <laughs> But I wish, you know, I totally had tickets for, like, the rest of the tour because I had so much fun. And I'm looking forward to looking into doing the Static Xmas that's in Spokane, Washington. Uh, that's going to be so much freaking fun. That's Wednesday 13 and Static X. Like, um, hello, Santa. Please. 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 Hopefully. I'll start putting out the cookies now. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, I didn't rather good. Please. <laughs> Where do you want to go? 
and for Project Regeneration to come out. I think that's going to be awesome, mind-blowing, and hopefully my name will be in the CD, too. Like, I'm real excited about that. They're giving back to the fans, and man, we want that. And speaking about giving back to the fans, I felt so bad because Tony went to throw me a pick, and some little kid caught it. That sucked. But anyways... Um, I hope everybody that went had a good time. If you have any experiences you want to share with me, let me know down below in the comments and um, tell me some of your Wayne stories too. I always love talking about Wayne and anything Static X because this band meant the world to me. Um, if there was any band that spoke to me through their music, it was definitely these guys. These guys were everything uh, growing up, uh, dating, <laughs> relating, whatever. Um, this band was my life. So uh, seeing them again really brought back everything, all the memories, and uh, definitely all the memories of Wayne. Like, uh, the one thing I could say that, you know, I would have liked to see Zero do would be Wayne was always very cool about thanking people after each song. And I know that he's not Wayne, but... I don't know, just as a Static X fan of over 20 plus years, it would have been nice to hear, like, thank you. Like, that's always something that I really like that Wayne did. And I know that's Zero. He's different. He's from out of town, out of this world. But, gosh, it's such a nice touch. Like, this is so Wayne, you know what I mean? Like, I don't care if he played one or 5,000 songs. He'd always say, thank you. And it was just so, like, you're still going to thank me for, like, listening? Like, he would thank you after every song. Like, um... So I kind of miss that. You know, I kind of wish that Zero would zero it on that and uh, maybe start doing that maybe for a second light. I don't know. Uh, but other than that, I think he was spot on. I felt like, wow, if he, if he isn't channeling Wayne, I don't know. You know, and a couple of times I, I noticed I would look, look, look for Tara and I'd look at the wings and look on stage and I'm like, mm, no, because 20 years ago, she wouldn't have been on stage, but if they were there, if he was there today, if they were both there today, she would definitely be on stage doing her playing in the back. So, like, I definitely miss her tonight, too. And, you know, it's just, it's so hard. All the, all the stuff that, you know, happened to this band along the way, and, um, you know, now we're celebrating them. I think it's beautiful. And, um... So I hope you guys get to go. I'm going to stop rambling and go to bed now. But I just wanted to say keep disco evil. And thank you for watching. I rock you rock and together we rock. And be sure to check out the 2020th Wisconsin Death Trip Tour. It's freaking incredible. 20 years. And it's the most, well, it's one of my favorite brilliant albums. That It's one of the best albums, I think. It's one of the most brilliant albums. So go check out it. And go see it live. It's this whole thing from beginning to the very end. You don't want to miss this tour. This tour is amazing. And I was very skeptical about it. I was very scared. Very nervous. But I'm very glad I went and I didn't cry. So that's what uh, was my big thing. Was that I just had to keep telling myself that like, you know, everything's good. I couldn't see the backdrop with the with the Wayne collages, so I think that kind of helped too, that I had this big, like, Static X, like, side poster panels on the side, like, I couldn't see the backdrop of Wayne, uh, so I think that kind of helped me not get so teary-eyed, um, I did, there was a couple times where I'd get a little emotional, and I, you know, was fighting back, the, holding back the tears, and just pretending that this is, like, a whole new band that I have to get to know, and, you know, it is in respect, but, like, you know, I just, I hope we continue this. We need this as the fans. We always want to hear more. And if the band's willing to give us more. And maybe some more you know, new albums. You know, new songs, new tracks. I would definitely love that. Like, I'm not going anywhere. I've been a Static X fan. I'm going to always be a Static X fan. And I'll be here. Regardless. Even if you do each album. We're with it. Bring it zero. We want it. We want it Static X. Thank you so much.